Bro, once again, this is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Super awesome artist. I just made some videos about the art math, having a curriculum vitae and our CB. And uh, go check those out too after this one. This video is about... Uh, <laughs> here's one of the misconceptions out there, okay? Big misconception. Uh, detrimental to you artists. The idea that you have to be very unique. Oh man, if I just create this very unique artwork, I'm gonna be shown everywhere and everybody's gonna love me and all this stuff. Oh my God. Don't do that to yourselves. <laughs> if you're doing it, stop. <laughs> Look, most of us are sold all this type of misconceptions. One of them, of course, being, Look, you gotta be really unique. The whole thing about being an artist is that you have to be unique. So we all strive to be unique, to, to, to do things in a very unique way. And uh, yes, it's important. You wanna be unique. You don't wanna be the, like the guy, you know? You don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna come off as, as you were in a streamline, right? Like the same thing and the same cookie cutter or whatever. I get it. But you also don't want to deposit all of your energy on just trying to be unique. Why? Because it doesn't matter how unique you are. And I'm not trying to... Bear with me. There's thousands of artists out there who paint in any variation, you know, just like you. Just uh, degrees of variation. Very small ones. Why? Because you're not... As, as an artist... We are sold the idea that you have to invent something because we saw Pollock and then we saw Dali and, you know, we, we see the trailblazers and we're like, oh man, so that's all I got to do? No, you don't. Van Gogh did that and it didn't help him. No, that's, that's not it. Now, if you're doing it and you're doing it, that's awesome. You know, like if you're, if you're tra trailblazing and you're creating something completely unique, that's awesome. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you stop doing it. Of course not. You know, there's artists for every stage. There's artists who are cutting. There's artists who are, who are behind seeing what's been cut and readjusting. And then there's artists who, what, 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 what do they call this? Uh, uh, derivative, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm one of those. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. The job of the artist is not that. And many people put this weight on the artist. Galleries like to do that many times. Other artists definitely are your worst enemies often. <laughs> Especially people who don't know about art tend to be some of the worst ones too. Uh, they, they put this weight on the artist. If you're out there listening, I'm here to rock and say it's going to be okay. <laughs> Get that weight off your shoulders. Like, you have to be very unique. So now you're going into your studio or whatever. And you're like, you have this huge weight on you. Kind of like those scary movies, like the girl, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you're, you're trying to create artwork. And, in the, and you're like, it has this anxiety. It has to be unique. How do I, you know, I'm telling you guys this stuff. Because I've done it. I spent years with that weight on my shoulders. Trying to be unique. Trying to come up with something that no one had ever seen. You're not trying to make Coca-Cola here. You're not trying to, you know, make a concoction that no one has ever had. No. If you do, that's awesome. But most of us graduate to that. Why? Because you went through so many different styles. You went through so many different mediums or through so many uh, different ways of seeing things. That it's, by, it, it's natural. It comes natural and you start, you know, it's, it's, it's like a... I don't know, I've always compared it to music, like a master pianist or something, right? Uh, maybe when they were kids, they were, you know, they did classical. And then they did, I don't know, um, jazz and then hip-hop or this or that or whatever. You know, pop music. or And then, and then they, they mold it. And it's not because they want to or because like, oh, I'm going to pick all this stuff. No, it's natural because they've done all this stuff so much that they mold it into their own what I call voice or vision. They mold it and that's what people are like, oh, that's, that's very unique. But they didn't strive to be unique. They just did their work. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. Like get that, that weight off your shoulders. You don't need to be unique right now. Unique happens. Uniqueness 
happens by itself. It is a byproduct. It is a gift for your hard work. Uniqueness is a gift of your hard work. It doesn't, you don't go to it and be like, oh, I'm going to be unique. No. Or it's, or many times also in, in art history, we've shown, it's been shown that uniqueness also happens in art groups, right? So maybe if you want to be unique, go join an art group that is very unique. Cool. Awesome. But that's not really your job. If you do that, that's awesome. Like, I'm not saying don't do it. Of course, you know. I personally believe that your job is to create artwork and, and, and to be open and regardless of whether you're doing realism or you're doing, you know, some abstract expressionism or whatever, some conceptual stuff, it doesn't matter. Your job is to be open so that you can allow for growth, right? It's like a seed it has to open so that you can allow growth. Um, so we've been sold this idea that you have to be unique. And I, I think that, that it's, a, it's a huge uh, misconception and, and it's very... It's very bad for, for, for the creative process to have that weight on your shoulders. It's kind of like saying, uh, yeah, you have to be like this. Uh, like kind of like how they talk about uh, moms. <laughs> you, know, you, have to, you have to be fit, but then you have to cook. But then you have to, you know, all this stuff that it's like, come on, like, don't do that to mom, <laughs> you know, or, or maybe, or maybe to men too. I don't know, to the husband, right? You, you have to be uh, strong and you have to make some good money and you have to do this and you have to do, but you also have to be fragile. And you also, you know, like, no, that stuff happens naturally. It's not, it's not by intention. It happens because you, because you, of course, it's by intention that you work hard, but those, those attributes start molding. Right? Uh, I hope I didn't confuse anyone with this randomness. Anyways, that's how my examples go. I hope someone got it. Um, yeah, don't, 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 don't shoot at uniqueness for the sake of uniqueness. Shoot at making work and making lots of it and making, or if you don't make lots of it, make lots of time for it, right? Uh, there's artists that create artwork uh, I don't know, they take, uh, like, L Lucien Freud, the, the portrait uh, artist of, uh, uh, the British portrait artist, he takes, I don't know, I mean, like, one or three years, I don't know, I don't know, that's, that seems like a long gap, but he takes all this time, right, in order to go deep into his portraits, right, in order to, to create his work, and then there's artists like me, if you go check out one of my videos, I'll have a painting done in 20 minutes, I don't know. <laughs> you know, there's, and, and I also take long time in some paintings, you know, when I do dry and dry or whatever, but I'm not shooting for uniqueness. I'm like, oh, let me, let me be unique. No, it happens by itself. So don't let other people put that weight on you. There's so many misconceptions and, and, and ideas that just don't work. You know, they, they, if anything, they make you, they make you haul something or push something you know, rather than attract something. You want to be in a position where you attract. I'm not talking about some law of attraction stuff or whatever. <laughs> it's cool if you believe in it. <laughs> I'm talking about you put, in your, you put yourself in a position where, where that kind of stuff happens to you. You know, you attract it. You're not necessarily pushing or pulling something. You go where it's already happening. And you just place yourself there. And one way of doing that is you create the groove by working hard and smart and then uniqueness will flourish out of that by itself you don't even need to you know you don't you don't need to uh strive for it it's 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 a byproduct of your of your labor i'll leave you with that the name is jose trujillo i'm a fine art oh before i log off hold on the whole thing about uh being unique is not going to make you sell more i wanted to touch on that because that's how i started the video uh, they sell to us the idea that if you're unique, you are going to be shown more. People are going to know. When it comes to artwork or being famous or having great art out there, or blah, 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 it comes down to one thing, guys. Yes, it comes down to your art and this and that, but that's a smaller portion of it. It's a, it's a smaller portion. I know nobody wants to hear this, but, you know, I'm going to just... Put it out there. It comes down to marketing, you guys. And I'm not talking about some, some manipulated marketing. No, it comes down to how many people you talk to. Go talk to more people. Go open the, 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 the channel, the funnel for more people to see you and hear about you. Or put your place in, 
and put yourself in a place where that's already happening and therefore you've essentially opened your funnel right also you open your channel um it's not it's not that uniqueness doesn't help you it helps you a lot just like being having great work ethic and all those things but that is not the end all be all the end all be all is that you you work hard and smart you show yourself yes you create a great product but you also go show yourself and you figure out how that's going to work I'll leave you with that it's not one single thing it's never one thing that's really what I'm trying to get to when people tell you oh it's you know you gotta have bright colors no it's never one thing it's a multitude of things and you have to figure it out as you go my name is Jose Trujillo now I will log off Bam.